fun. Alright, today we're going to be testing some muzzle velocities of some of my homemade rounds. We're going to be doing, first things first, we're going to be doing the uh, muzzle velocities of standard stock rounds of uh, first the uh, Winchester Super X, the uh, bird shot. This is seven and a half shot. So uh, the base shell of the uh, uh, that I use for most of my slugs that I take the uh, shot out of and then reload with my slugs with my powder and then uh, also uh, Remington uh, Express uh, 9 pellet double up buck. Uh, first time using this uh, chronograph I just got it so I'm going to be shooting it from you know about 7 feet. Uh, I remember to turn on my external mic so hopefully you're picking this up and uh, I'm gonna take a couple of shots here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna move the camera to try to get that and uh, we're gonna see how this works here. So let's see how this goes. First one's gonna be the uh, first one's gonna be the uh, bird shot and then the, then a double eye buck. Bird shot. Eleven eighty two. Not too bad. Then we're gonna do the uh Remington nine pellet, high brass, double lot buck. Twelve sixty nine. Not too bad. First one's going to be one of the uh, my standard load, which is the uh, Winchester Super X, the birdshot rounds that I just pull out their birdshot and I load with uh, uh, 26 grains of uh, Winchester Super Field ball ammo, and then I put my uh, my homemade slug in it. Should be a fairly low velocity round. I've never chronographed it, but it should be somewhere around 1,100 feet per second. The second one is a 3-inch Cheddite hole, high brass, that uh, these are my, that I trimmed down, and these have about 36 grains of uh, WSF ball ammo in, or ball powder in it. Um, I'm thinking these should be going closer to around 1400, but we're about to find out if I was right with my low data or if I was just fucking wrong. So first shot's going to be the low velocity, second one's going to be the high velocity, so let's see. Low velocity slug, here we go. 933. Low recoil, easy peasy slug, it's not too bad. And here goes the 36 grains of powder, kicks like a mule, let's see. Man, that's not, I'm gonna have to load that a little harder. Let's back that up with another one of my 36 grains of powder one, let's see how that 
it backs it up. See how consistent my load is. What? God damn. Alright, let's do another one. 150 feet per second spread. Alright, well, we'll throw out that low one. 1255. Well, that's a decent. At least I know I'm not loading too hot. Well, here's a fun one. I got one last one for y'all. Wax slug. Y'all all know this one. I just took out the bird shot, used some paraffin wax, made a wax slug out of it. Let's see if it fucked it up any. for today I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff up and I'm gonna make up a couple of special slugs I got a couple of ideas for some penetrating slugs using tungsten rounds uh, I may make a video on that maybe not I'm not sure how YouTube feels about that let me know in the comments um, I got a very special penetrating video coming up got an army helmet let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to get this up and then uh, got more coming.